Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program that Google made and the way you get to it is you're going to go under your Google Apps here and there's two ways of doing it. Directly you can get to it from Sheets right here or you can go through Google Drive and create a new sheet. Let's go into Sheets and it might take a second here. If you've got old ones, you can go inside of those, or I'm just going to create a blank one right now. Now a spreadsheet, if you've never used them before, they're a very, very powerful tool. You can do a lot of mathematical things with a spreadsheet. Um, you can make graphs with them, you can, you know, uh, make formulas with them, there's all kinds of things you can do and it really makes things easy for things like budgeting and stuff like that. So if you look, there's a few things. So each of these little blocks, these are called cells. So this is one particular cell. This is actually cell A1. So that's how you refer to each of these cells. So this one here, this is D2. So we have different columns. The columns have letter names and the rows have numbers. And they, these are how you reference each of your cells. These are going to be really important when you get into formulas later on. Um, there's a lot of other things you can dig into as well. You can change the font sizes, for example. You can change whether things are bold. You can change whether the, what color they are, if they're left aligned or right aligned. Um, just like a regular word processor. So there's a lot of extra features, but I'm just gonna keep it real simple in this example here. And what I'm gonna do is just make myself a grocery list. So I'm gonna go in here and start typing away. Grocery list. And I'm gonna give myself, right here I'm gonna put item, and then price. Something like that. And let's go ahead and make some items that I might buy in a grocery store. So I might buy some milk, I might buy coffee, bananas, bread, and uh, I don't know, maybe some cereal. Something like that. And then we're going to give ourselves some prices here. So let's say milk is $3.79, coffee is going to be, let's say, $7.99. Bananas is going to cost me $3.60. Okay, bread might be $3. And let's say cereal is going to be $4.75. Something like that. The very first thing I'll, I want to show you here is if you look the way the numbers came up on here, they're not consistent. They're not really, like, like 3.00 didn't really show up. It just says 3. So what it's doing right now is these cells, it's treating it like numbers. So if you go under format and you go under number, right here by default, every cell is set to automatic. Okay, so it's gonna try and figure out what exactly it is. And right now what it's doing, because they didn't put number signs in it, it's treating it like a number. That's what it's doing. Um, over here, these ones, these are being filled in as text. So it's treating like text, even though it's set to automatic. It's treating it exactly like it's text. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change these and I'm gonna to go to format, number, and I'm gonna put it into currency like this. This is how I want it to look. I want it to have two decimal points exactly like that. There we go. We get a little bit more consistency doing that. You can also do it with this button right here. You can click on these cells and then it's such a common thing to occur that you're, you know, this is all the time people do this. So the format of currency is also right there. Okay, let's do something with this now. Let's go ahead and let's use the sum command. Let's add all of these up, okay? So I'm gonna make a thing that says total. I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it. First way is the long way, which is what I would recommend you not do, but it's good to use in some situations. So with any formula in a spreadsheet, you start with the equal sign. And I'm gonna say equals B3, that's this cell right here, so it went, it went kind of orangey here plus B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus B7. That's my five numbers. I hit enter. Boom, there's my number. That's the total of this. I know this is the total because if I change a number, let's say I put five bucks here, this changes automatically to 25. That's what's really powerful about a spreadsheet. Now that formula is the long way. What if I asked you to add 500 numbers like that, or 100 numbers? That would be a serious pain in the butt. So there is a function called sum that makes this process a lot easier. 
All you do is type equals sum, put in a bracket, and then what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of the cells you want to add up, just like that. And you're going to close the bracket. So the formula that I'm going to use is going to be the sum of B3 colon B7. Now you can type that manually or you can just highlight just like I did here, okay? And that, that, that will sum up all of the cells between B3 to B7. Hit enter, and boom, you get the same exact number. So this is a lot easier. You can use that kind of a command even if you had a bunch of numbers that were sideways even. Okay, so if I had a bunch of numbers like that and I wanted to add them up, I could go equal sum, bracket, and you could highlight like this. Close the bracket, enter, and it will work. So this is going to be 28. So you can do it vertically or horizontally, whatever you'd like. So the sum command is very, very powerful. Now you imagine someone had like a budget here, right? And they said, okay, well, you know, I can only spend $20, but now I'm at 25. So let's go and try and knock this down. Maybe I, I can only buy, you know, $2 worth of bread instead. Okay, I'm getting closer. Maybe I can only buy the cereal that's $2.99. Getting a bit closer, right? I can buy the, the coffee that's $6.99. Now I'm under my $20 budget. So this automatically helps us to total things up and we can use it for things like, you know, trying to set a budget, trying to find, you know, uh, ways of saving money and figuring out where your money goes and stuff like that. And you can play around with your numbers and your totals will change uh, like live, which is really, really nice. Um, so that's the, that's the big one I wanted to show you right here was the sum command. Only other thing I want to show you is, uh, is basically how to put in a date and dates can go a number of different ways. So today's date is actually, uh, April the 11th, 2020. So April 11, 2020. Okay, you can do it like that. You can do it in this format here if you want. Um, by default, dates will look like that. So I can click that button and it'll show up in this sort of way, which is probably better. Um, and, and that might be important later on if you start working with dates and copying formulas and stuff. But um, there is a bunch of different formats you can use in here. So dates, there's a format for date. There's a format for time. Currency, like if you want to round currencies, for example, like maybe you're not going to worry about decimals, you can do that. Uh, financial math, accounting, if you get to do scientific notation for like for, uh, scientific experiments and big, big numbers and percent, you can do all that. It's all under the number uh, area here and you can select exactly what you need to work with. Okay, so again, I didn't want a super long video, but I do want to show you how the sum command work, how it can make your life easier in a spreadsheet. Only a thing I would recommend you do in Google Sheets is always give everything a name. You know, I'm guilty of this. In uh, my Google Drive, I got about 50 spreadsheets called Untitled Spreadsheet. Make sure you give this thing a name. I would call this thing Spreadsheet uh, Some Example, something like that. And then you can pick a different folder if you want, something like that, but at least give it a good name like that. Okay, give everything a name. You can even rename tabs down here. So once we get to the point where there's more tabs, you can do that. So this, I could easily rename it if I wanted to. But uh, again, this is just a quick demo. I want to show you how the sum command works, the advantage of the spreadsheet, and uh, <clears throat> how you can put a little bit of data into a spreadsheet.